I'm happy to have been able to bring home uh, one of the new Stampin' Pads from my on stage. And I wanted to show you this separately because there's kind of a lot of new things going on um, with the ink and color lineup and the packaging and what's inside. So, um, first and foremost, with the color revamp, we are seeing um, some old ink colors that are being reintroduced into their main product lines. And I'm excited that Mint Macaron is one of them. Um, but it's nice that I have the old style pad right next to the new one. So you can see at a glance, the new packaging is smaller, um, thinner. It opens differently. I know sometimes people would have trouble with the push and flip and um, we don't have to do that anymore. They've upgraded this. It just opens. They use they said like a makeup compact, which I would not have thought of, but that's a great way to describe it. And then once you have it open, you have a spot here to choose to add a sticker that shows the color of the ink, which is fantastic. You know if you line up a bunch of these open, you can have colors that are pretty different. You know, a green next to a blue, next to a purple. And the color is so saturated on the pads, you don't know the color. And, you know, you can take the time to twist and look or it's going to be right here. So that's just really kind of cool and thoughtful. Um, when you look at them side by side, it seems a little bit of an optical illusion. But the ink pads themselves, the surface area that you have to stamp, is almost identical. This little curve that happens here, tiny little fraction of an inch between that having that curve and this one being straight is the only difference. So this is smaller by the tiniest fraction of an inch. And to be honest, I don't think we needed that curve on this one because the packaging is so much closer now to the stamp pad for those techniques where you want to pull the stamp pad across the paper. I think it's going to happen without any trouble at all. Um, the other nice thing about the packaging um, on the outside of the new packaging, you see the divots, the four divots, they'll match up to four little tiny feet. So the new stamp pad, excuse me, the new stamp pad is gonna stack and more or less lock in place like Legos, which is fantastic. The other nice thing about this stamp pad the joint itself here, the way that it closes, is a lot tighter. So you can even see when you put them side by side how much wiggle room this has here. Well, if you're using your lid of your ink pad, like a little palette to use with your aqua painters, or you know, you've seen the techniques I love to use, um, where you put a little reinker in there, maybe add a little water, that can be kind of messy from the old ones. So I'm pretty happy that uh, they thought to do that and really just tighten it up. So overall the packaging is just a lot more elegant. It's much more efficient. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how when I you know, pack to travel or pack for workshops, uh, how much better these fit. And then the other thing that they mentioned they didn't give us full details. To be honest, I'm probably one of the few people that would want full details. But they've added the foment to the stamp pad. And so that's going to address the issues when you have a stamp set that has a broad, smooth surface. And you can sometimes get um, what looks like little bubbles. And this was the set that came to mind when they were talking about it because it's just one constant color across that surface. <clears throat> the defoment that they've added to the stamp pad will help you get more even coverage without um, really have to fuss with it. And then for me, you know, chemist in, in my background, um, I'm thinking, and I don't know if I can find someone that would have the answer because this is kind of the chemist geek thought, but I'm pretty confident we can still use the reinkers if you have reinkers 
from you know some of these colors that are being reintroduced they should work just fine on that stamp pad that is holding that defoment so kind of excited about that and then the other thing I wanted to show you um, pretty quickly uh, someone realized, another demonstrator realized that Target was carrying these little seasonal plant, they're sold as a planter in their little seasonal dollar section. Um, and of course they're three dollars, not one, but these little planters are a wonderful fit for the new stamp pads. And at first glance I was thinking I would take the plastic lining out but I'm actually really jazzed that it's there because if I'm taking these out and about, you know, traveling, going to visit some friends, um, or when I go to workshops, that plastic is just gonna protect everything. If I put my reinkers in here, you know, I'm kind of seeing myself building a little kit with my glue and, you know, dimensionals and those things will sit in there um, really pretty nicely. And, I'm told I don't have my hands yet on um, the new in colors in the new stamp pads, but I'm told this little target box will hold a dozen of these. So they came in two colors and I think it'd be really fun if you don't already have a system or you're looking to upgrade your system to put a little wall mount here, put that on the wall, be able to grab and go, pretty fun. So wanted to let you all know about that and um, thank you for having fun and being creative with me.